A lot of times while we are designing the reinforced concrete structures, we face a problem where we have to find the design moments for an irregular shaped cross section, which are not square or rectangle shaped. And in this video, we will learn the methods to solve the problem. Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. And in this video, we will learn that how to find the design moment strength of an irregular shaped cross section using the ACI 318. I have been given a beam which is made of concrete with compressive strength of 3000 PSI and it is uh, reinforced with three number eight bars with a yield strength of 60 KSI. I have to find the design moment strength for this cross section. I can see that I have a triangular shaped beam uh, whose height is 24 inch and its base is also 24 inch. The effective depth of the beam is 21.5 inch. So the first step in finding the design moment strength is that first you will assume that the stress in the tension reinforcement equals the yield strength and after that you will find the tension force. So our beam is reinforced with three number eight bars and for one number eight bar area of steel is equal to 0 0.79. It means that for three number it will be three into 0 0.79 which is 2.37 inch square. Tension force, this will be equal to the area of steel multiplied by the yield strength since our steel is grade 60 steel. So tension force will be equal to 2.37 into 60 which is 142 kips will be equal to, it will be the value of tension force. After that the next step will be that you will find the area of the compression stress block such that the compression force is equal to the tension force. So this is done uh, by uh, using the equivalent rectangular stress block. This stress block consists of a uniform stress of 0.85 Fc dash, which is distributed over a depth of A, which is equal to beta 1 C, where the C is the depth of the neutral axis. And this is measured from the extreme compression fiber. For a grade 3000 PSI uh, concrete, this, uh, the value of beta 1 is equal to 0 0.85 and uh, the magnitude of compression force this is obtained by uh, from equilibrium that is compression force will be equal to the tension force since our tension force is 142 kips it means the value of compression force will also be equal to 142 kips or you can say 142,000 lips. We can see the cross section elevation and strain distribution for our beam. Okay, so this is a triangular shaped beam. So if I assume if the depth of the compression block is uh, A, then from the similar triangles, the width at the bottom of the compression block will be also A. And the area of this compression block, which is blue color shaded, this will be equal to the half of a base into the width so it will be equal to a square divided by 2. The compression force this will be equal to the compression stress multiplied by the area of the compression block since the uh, compression stress is equal to 0 0.85 fc dash and area is a square divided by 2 so compression force will be equal to 0 0.85 fc dash multiplied by a square divided by 2. Since our compression force from equilibrium is equal to 142,000 lips, so solving for A, A will be equal to under root of 142,000 into 2 divided by 0 0.85 into 3000, which will be equal to 10.6 inch. This A is the depth of the stress block. After that, the next step will be that uh, you will check whether this uh, tension steel is yielding or not okay so this is done by using the strain compatibility uh, as before as i told you that the depth of the neutral axis this is equal to the depth of the stress block divided by beta 1 so this will be 10.6 divided by 0 0.85 which will be equal 12.4 inch yield strain this is equal to the yield stress divided by the modulus of elasticity so it will be 60 divided by 29,000 so it will be 0 
using the strain compatibility strain in the extreme layer of tension reinforcement will be equal to d minus c divided by c into 0 0.003 putting values of d and c we can find that the strain in the tension reinforcement is equal to 0 0.00220 so we can see that this strain is actually greater than the yield strain so the assumption that we made in the step first is satisfied that our tension steel is yielding after that the next step will be that you will find a nominal strength of the beam so nominal strength is either equal to compression force multiplied by jd or tension force multiplied by jd JD where this JD this is the general expression for the lever arm that is it is the distance from the resultant tensile force uh, to the resultant compressive force we can see in our figure that uh, because the area of this uh, compression block this is a triangular shaped okay so it means that the centroid of this uh, compression block will be at a distance of 2a by 3 from the top that means the distance between the uh, this compression force and tension force this will be equal to effective depth minus this uh, uh, centroid uh, distance of the centroid of the compression force which is 2a by 3 so you can say our jd this will be equal to d minus 2a by 3 that is the distance between the compression force and the tension force so nominal moment this is equal tension force multiplied by jd tension force this is equal to uh, area of steel into the yield strength and jd is equal to d minus 2a by 3 putting values of a s f y d and a we get the value of nominal strength of beam equal to 2052 kip inch or we can change it into the feet by dividing it by 12 so it will be 171 kip feet this is the nominal strength of the beam. The next thing which we have to check is that whether the tension steel area exceeds the minimum steel requirement of the ACI code. So uh, there is a requirement that we have to either use 3 under root FC dash or 200 PSI in the numerator. We can see that 3 under root FC dash this is equal to 164.32 PSI which is less than 200 PSI so we have to use 200 PSI in the numerator and the formula for the uh, minimum tension steel is 200 BW into D divided by FY so it will be equal to 200 our width of P is 24 inch and effective depth is 21.5 inch and the yield strength is 60,000 uh, PSI so uh, our minimum steel for this beam will be equal to 1.72 inch square we can see that our steel uh, area in this beam is greater than the minimum steel so this satisfies the ACI code requirement for minimum tension reinforcement after that the next step will be to find the strength reduction factor and the resulting value of the design uh, moment strength so uh, for single layer of tension reinforcement uh, strain in the extreme layer of tension reinforcement is equal uh, equal to the strain uh, in the reinforcement so both are same so it will be equal to es that is 0 0.00220 which we calculated earlier also we can see that uh, this strain is greater than the yield strain and it is less than the yield strain plus 0 0.003 it means this beam is in transition zone and when the beam is in transition zone the value of strength reduction factor is given as 0 0.65 plus 0 0.25 multiplied by et minus ety divided by 0 0.003 putting values of ET and ETY we get the value of strength reduction factor equal to 0 0.66 and uh, design movement this will be equal to the strength reduction factor multiplied by the nominal strength of the beam so it will be equal to 0 0.66 into 171 which will be equal to 112.86 kip feet so this is the value of design movement strength of this uh, triangular shaped cross section 
This video showed you how to find the uh, design moment strength of an irregular shaped cross section. I hope this solution video was clear and you learned something new. If you find my videos helpful, please subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.